so this question uh, i'll teach you how to do it with basics like you know one in 60 rule second thing i'll teach you how to do it with a simple formula that you can remember so what is one in 60 rule let's say this is your runway you are trying to land on this runway let's say your glide slope is 3 degrees if the aircraft is at 60 nautical miles your height will be equal to your angle that is 3 nautical miles if the angle is not 3 but 2.5 degrees your height will be 2.5 nautical miles so it will be in nautical miles the height also okay. this is 1 in 60 rule right so for every 1 degree 1 nautical mile so that's how it is come 60 nautical miles by 1 degree is 1 nautical mile 2 degrees is 2 nautical miles 2.5 is 2.5 nautical miles 3 degrees is 3.3 nautical miles height right so that is 1 in 60 rule hope you understood so you are flying an instrument approach to an airfield and its required glide slope angle is 2.5 degrees so let's say this is your instrument approach to the airfield your required glide slope angle is 2.5 degrees you are correctly on the glide slope and you are passing you are correctly on the glide slope means you are correct on the glide slope you are passing a height of 1000 feet see he said already height height means measured from the ground QFE means like you know you are measuring with the help of a pressure altimeter whenever you see F that means it is like you know the pressure on the field again it also signifies height so that means it is measuring or vertical distance from the ground okay, not from the mean sea level nothing as such so this is 1000 feet ok assuming 1 nautical mile is equal to 6000 feet what is the range right for example if this is 60 nautical miles right this would have been 2.5 nautical miles yes simple 2.5 nautical miles is how many feet 1 nautical mile is given 6000 feet so this would have been 2.5 into 6000 but see it is not 2.5 into 6000 because if would have if would have been you know this much you know height the range would have been 60 nautical miles okay at 60 nautical miles it is at a height of 2.5 nautical miles but i am doing into 6000 to convert it into feet okay but the height of the aircraft is only 1000 feet so how many nautical miles 60 by 2.5 into 6000 into 1000 right so this many nautical miles is the range of the aircraft now simple calculations here 1000 6 6 10 4 so the aircraft is at you know 4 nautical mile range just about to land the runway or there is a simple formula height is equals to AR101 so 101 is considered thinking you know 6080 is the uh, feet is 1 nautical so you will get an approximate answer but it will be correct so you have your height 1000 angle is 2.5 into range I want into 101 so range is equal to 1000 by 2.5 into 101 you know, because these are approximations I will take it this as you know, 100 to 10 so approximately you will get an answer 4 nautical miles that will be the closest answer in your exam so 4 nautical miles hope you understood 1 in 60 rule and hope you understood how to solve one question in 2 or 3 different ways